guys, guess who locked her hair? Have you been, guys? It's been a minute. I think I should address you guys as friends because I want us to become friends over time. I want us to discuss things first things first. I want to make my hair crochet. But while we're doing this, we're gonna have conversations about things. So I haven't I haven't crocheted my hair before. This is a first, even before I lock my hair. Let's talk about something, guys. Let's talk about something, guys. A couple of days ago, I was just, you know, thinking about life and experiences and all of that. And a talk crossed my mind. You know how oftentimes when people do something that hurts us, um, we are we're quick to talk about how this person did this, this person did that. This person did that, this person is so evil. But we often fail to also acknowledge our part, the part we played in it. Because this is how I see it from my own perspective. Um, in order for someone to get to the point, to get close to me, to the point that they can hurt me, it means that I myself gave this person room to get so close to me. So I have my own part no matter how terrible this person was i believe that it's also very important for us to acknowledge the role that we played in the whole matter that gave this person the room the opportunity and the chance to hurt you having practiced this for a while now i realized that this helps me this helps me understand what happened, accept my fault, and it helps me move on faster. So instead of me staying hurt, sitting in one place, being mad and angry and pissed off at people, out at the world, I just have this moment of reflection where I say, okay, this has happened. This is how I feel about this situation. This is how I feel about what this person has done to me. However, I acknowledge the fact that I had my own part to play. There are flags. There are actions that people put up that tells you, mm, this person. You would see these things, but we often ignore these flags and these this actions and these leaky characteristics here and there because of what, whatever personal reason we might have. So if we listened to these flags earlier, then maybe, maybe, just maybe we could have avoided a whole lot of um, mess that followed suit. Many hours later, it's SpongeBob Sports, and we're left with this strand. I wanted to make this one on camera just so I'm able to show you guys the technique I use in tucking all my dreads in. First things first, uh, Getting a little bit of edge control on this. Now we did this. Taking our wrap around hair, drag it through. And we have this. Just gonna tuck this longer part. So we have the long end on the short end. We're gonna tuck the longer part away. Now I take the hair put this through this through take the hair through take the hair in and try to wrap the hair and my we still have this short end here so we're just gonna wrap my hair around just to secure the hair in then we use the short end to roll round so that we have uh, my hair and the extension together in one this technique actually makes your life a whole lot easier now you take this one the longer one and you just wrap right you just keep wrapping, you keep wrapping it. It's okay if your extension is not enough, I mean. 
you can always add but I'm gonna see if um, I can get all the way down to the bottom 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 which is this one and that is it but I love my hair <laughs> 